Okay, so today is a fun day. Uh, today is Halloween here at Edgewater Air Park. Um, at Edgewater, we have a lot of different events that we do. We do uh, wings at work, we do uh, wings over Edgewater, and also what's happening today is uh, Halloween. Now the flight crew puts this on and uh, we're really thankful for that they do because it's an awesome time. It's an event that we do around Halloween. We use this as an excuse to get together, um, wear some hilarious costumes, and uh, also drop uh, candy out of airplanes. So uh, what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna bring you guys along all the crazy things that happen during Halloween. Uh, so hopefully you guys come out next year. So uh, I see a bunch of guys up there with uh, some funny outfits. We're going to uh, see what they're doing. Take it away. <laughs> what are you all doing? Happy, Happy Halloween, everyone. <laughs> what are <laughs> this, this year's uh, uh, theme, of course, is inflatable. So we, we do it right. Inflatable it dragon. It shall be. Oh, hey, it's a nice dragon. <laughs> Dave, uh, I mean. You know. What can you say? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> this is awesome. So we got we got Spooner and the dragon. Hold on a second. Mrs. Spooner and the unicorn. Who do we have? Who do we have in the? Uh... <laughs> is, that, is that a Dustin? Help me! <laughs> you got Nicole on, on a rooster. You got yeah, a rooster. Nicole on a rooster. Jason on a dragon. Jason on a dragon. You got uh, uh, Jason uh, being abducted by a chicken. <laughs> yeah. And then we got Rocket Steve, of course. Rocket Steve. With rocket. And a rocket. And Acme, what is it? Acme Jetpack? Rocket oh, yeah. Pack. There you go. So, uh, who wants to have a whoop race in my rear end? <laughs> <laughs> that didn't sound fit for <laughs> That wasn't PG I need to find something. Like Explain to us what is Halloween. So basically it's where the flight crew kind of volunteers to come out and drop candy for kids and uh, we try to make the best of it and we dress up and have fun as well. Nice. So, it's, so. We volunteer to come out here and dress up for ourselves and anyone else can yeah. join us. Yeah, we're big kids <laughs> at heart. So. so I think that we should kind of uh, follow along and see uh, See what other crazy shenanigans that you guys get into. Yeah, yeah, we'll have fun today. Be very, very careful. Yes, there's, there's a creeper. Clown down, clown down. Wait, which side's your foot? <laughs> I did actually get confused there for a second. So Bailey, what are you doing? I'm loading candy to drop some candy for the kids. Big kids and little kids? All the kids. All the kids. All the kids. Awesome. Young kids, old kids, big kids, little kids, medium kids, what, whatever. What kind, of, what kind of stuff are you putting in? You got, got some Jolly Ranchers in there? Oh yeah, we got all the goodies. We're gonna dump in a little bit of chocolate stuff too. Yeah. Ooh. So how many, how many pounds do you think this thing can actually haul? Uh, well, so far we are oh. at about four pounds. And that was this. Uh, oh, we can go way more than that. So we, we probably are good. I would say maybe 10, 11 pounds of candy in there. If you be able to do it. That is a lot of candy, Billy. There is. The, the more the merrier. There's going to be some sugar rushes. Yes. Oh, boy. Well, I will, uh, I'll leave you to caffeinate the masses. All right. Yeah. Michael, what did you put in there? What? What? Did you? Michael. Get the, get the little one! Get the little one!
How does she feel, Billy? Real good. Real good. Feels good and heavy, full of candy. Okay, so the guys are still dropping candy outside. Something that we like to do during these events is actually test out some prototypes of some new products so people can kind of see them, maybe fly them. So Billy is making a new line of flat outs. Now we're probably gonna release one, but we wanted to see what you guys thought about it. So we're gonna take it out. We're gonna see what Michael and Billy can do tearing up the skies uh, with these new flat outs. So uh, come along and see if they fly good. Wheel popped off. <laughs> yes. Do it, lady. It's smoking. It's smoking a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Can't take my eyes off of them. Me. <laughs> Okay, so uh, we just got to see what uh, Michael could do with these flat outs, but now, uh, Mike, I think I want to see what Billy can do. Yeah, I hate hair. <laughs> Michael loves his new rig, so. Billy, which plane are you flying? Uh, this one's a prototype. Uh, this is gonna be a G202, a Giles G202. <clears throat> um, just one of the one of the ones in the bunch. We'll see how it performs, and we're gonna do some comparison and see what we get. Feels pretty good. You want a tour? Huh? You want a tour? Everybody else has been doing a tour. Come on, over here. Come on in. Put your head inside. Eat. 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 You should see what's inside here. Hi, Mom. We got our picture and stuff. I think our next step is we should see what it looks like flying behind the B-17. <laughs> Josh, you totally got to make that fly. You think so? Should we pull it by its little dangler? Definitely. I love it. What do you think? Think the MPO will do it? I think, I think the MPO. I mean, if we, what I'm thinking is if we take like a, a gourd or something and we tie the rope to the gourd in the bomb bag, and then that way if things get really bad really quick, Dump it we out. just drop the, the gourd and then we can tow this. <laughs> Look how happy you would be. You didn't stay in here very long. No, I kind of get weirded out about like not being able to see people on the me. Plus, like, Michael is behind me, and you know what they did with inflatable outfits. Yeah, we made a rule this year, though. They're not allowed to do that. We didn't follow it, so <laughs> I got oh. out of it really quick. <laughs> but it has a front zipper, so I'm okay. Oh, see, yeah, I can't reach my zipper. It's, it's somewhere back that way. <laughs> it's in the nether. All right, so we're going to take up the B-17. We're going to do some flying. I think we're going to drop some pumpkins, Noah. Uh, different episode. 
So what, what did you do to safeguard this? All right, so we have a bomb bay here and we have a styrofoam puck on it. So if God forbid something bad happens, I can simply hit the button, open up the bomb bay, and then this will fall. If this works out really good, I think I'm gonna take it up high anyway and release it and just see how it floats, but we'll see. All right, you ready, Billy? What do you think it'll work? I think, we'll, yeah, it's gonna have to work. Hopefully. We're bound to determine to do it. All right, we have, we have Chet, Chet chasing. <laughs> Here we go, ready? There we go! I gotta stop watching the fish and start watching the air balloon. How's she towing? <laughs> it looks like, it's like I can feel the weight, but it doesn't care, I just, just kind of will it. Look at it. <laughs> Look at it. There it is! Oh, yes. Oh, we gotta try it again, but with the, uh, with, with a better weight solution. Do you want me to do a little pass, Noah? Sure. For a high altitude drop of our uh, fish. You down I think for it's that? A good idea. All right, Mike, we're going up. All right. Yeah. I cooked it! I totally cooked it. <laughs> well, it's a good thing we're making another one, right? That is good. We All didn't right. plan on it making pass this weekend anyways, so. Yeah. So from the very beginnings, uh, this is the longest any kind of prototype planes lasted. We built it and finished it at John Overstreet Plane Crazy Build Day. And then we flew it through flight fests and Memorial Days and bomb drops and oh, candy drops and, yeah. and everything. And we even brought it to Air Venture uh, to fly where we thought we were going to destroy it in front of everyone, just have some fun. Sure enough, it's going to be the fish that took it down. Yeah. But on a good note, we got version 2, the version you guys are going to be able to build, uh, coming along. It has uh, separable wings, it has a better bomb bay. Better landing gear, Yeah. better bomb bay, yeah. and a way easier transport. So. Yeah. All right, so what a great retirement. Um, <laughs> 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 so now I guess we get to go on to that chapter. That's it. All right, time to build. Dude, look at that. It's not bad at all for how it hit. Well, we I think you're right. So Al made mention that we kind of hit this and then the big old inflatable was slowing us down the whole way. We hit the embankment. Okay, well everything on the inside went outside. It desoldered. Okay. So to fly this out, I was at pretty much full throttle the whole time and that's never a good recipe. And we're running it through XT60. So we have four 2814s running through XT60s. Don't do it. Don't. No. It literally, it literally desoldered. Yes. Wow. Okay. No, I'll do it. I'll do it. Oh. It's still not actually that bad. No, it's repairable. Yeah, but I think I want to take the guts and put it on something different. Yeah. <laughs> All right, back to building. So I hope you guys like this vlog style episode where we kind of recapped Halloween's for you. Now, if you guys want to participate in any of the Edgewater events next year, go to Edgewater website, uh, check them out. We have Wings Over Edgewater, Wings at Work, and then Halloween's. All these events are essentially mini flight fests, kind of a more personal style. Check out the website, also like and subscribe. We're gonna be doing a bunch of different content. So make sure you follow along all of our social medias to stay up to date on all of our new and amazing projects. So we'll see you next time, stay tuned.